All you do is sit around in your cookie cutter houses with your cookie cutter lives, thinking you know everything, thinking you know exactly how reality, how life works. But you don't, you don't know because you're blind. You're absolutely blind. You don't see what's right in front of your fucking face. But I do, I do see it. I see it because I'm woke. I'm the wokest motherfucker you ever met. My name's Steve, Steve Unseen. hear from people like me. You know why? Because we get shut down. Because we get found out. We get taken away. The second we put a video out, we're hauled off. We disappear. Our families never hear from us. Our friends never hear from us. You never hear from us. So we're scared. We live in our little caves. We live in our little houses. We, we, we live underground. And we don't say anything. Because we're afraid. We're afraid that if we, we even try to move just, just, just one Jenga block, the whole fucking thing's gonna come tumbling down. And then they're going to come after us. They're going to come after our loved ones. They're going to come after our family. They're going to come after everything. But I have had enough. There's so much I could touch on. we got to stay fucking quiet. They're fucking listening. They're always fucking listening. If there's one thing you take away from me, if there's one thing you fucking learn from me, they're always fucking listening to us. They're never gonna stop listening to us. The moment we gave them the technology, they started listening to us. And they'll never fucking stop, they can't. They, they're, they're like a fucking uh, a crack addict with a crack rock. You know, you can't just put them alone in a room and say, hey, hey, Mr. Crack Addict, don't go after the crack rock. He's gonna go after the crack rock every fucking time. You know it, I know it, we all fucking know it. Every fucking day, it's something different. Today I'm reading an article that tells me, oh hey, hey Steve, guess what? Fucking fast food places are gonna be replacing the cashiers with fucking machines. And everyone's shocked. Everyone's so upset. Everyone's throwing a big fucking fit. But guess what, guys? Steve isn't surprised. He has seen the writing on the wall. He has seen this going on now for a long fucking time. It's nice that you guys are all finally catching up. But this has been happening before any of us were even fucking born. A hundred fucking years ago, if you wanted to go and get a fucking job, you could do it on a fucking farm, fucking tilling the fucking ground. That's what you could do until one day some smart ass motherfucker had the great idea. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna invent this fucking machine to do the job for me. That's where it fucking started. It was the first fucking domino along a long line of fucking dominoes. It's what it's what put that fucking infection deep into our fucking brains to make us think. You know what? I got a great idea. I got a great idea. Here's what we're gonna do, people. Here's what we're fucking gonna do. We're gonna just keep inventing shit to do our fucking jobs because we don't want to be humans anymore we just want to be another piece of code in a fucking system that is all fucking self-proficient and just working on its own fuck the human being fuck the person fuck the individual we don't fucking need them they're broken they're flawed and all they do is fuck shit up and slow it the fuck down just look a fuck around you Look at the, the, the cabs. We don't need them any fucking more. We have fucking Uber, right? That's what you're thinking. We got Uber to do all this. Well, fuck Uber. We don't need them any fucking more either. Because you know what we have now? We have fucking vehicles that drive them fucking selves. So hey, truck drivers, we don't fucking need you anymore. Hey, bus drivers, go find another fucking job. You're done. It doesn't matter what you do. If you if you transport shit, if you're a fucking mailman, if you're a fucking pizza delivery motherfucker, it doesn't fucking matter. We got cars that can drive themselves now. You're irrelevant. You're outdated. You're a piece of human fucking garbage. All you do is slow down the machines. It's the machine's turn now, and we're just letting it fucking happen. We're actually running right into the fucking face of the apocalypse, and we don't give two shits. We're just happy to get the next cool fucking device that we can sit here and show our friends and brag about until it's too fucking late. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the only motherfucker that sees the deeper fucking shit that's going on out in the world and it really fucking disturbs me. In China, they got fucking teachers now that are fucking machines. A little robot teacher sitting there teaching the whole fucking class. Everybody paying attention, listen to the robot teacher. Hey, robot teacher, whatever you want. Whatever you want, robot teacher. I'll get the homework to you tomorrow. So we don't even need fucking teachers anymore? That's what you're fucking telling me? And then you got Amazon fucking delivering shit to your fucking door now. You only need to be fucking home. They're gonna come up with a fucking way to get that shit into your house. You don't even, you don't even need to fucking be there. You don't even need to fucking exist. The machine will do it all fucking for you. It'll bring it in. It'll fucking tuck you into bed. It'll make you a glass of fucking hot tea when you're not feeling so good. You get some soup delivered to you. You just lay in your fucking bed. You just sit there. You pretend like you don't know what the fuck's going on while the machines do everything for us. We're unnecessary. We're unneeded. 
And if all of this hasn't been enough fucking evidence for you, look at 3D fucking printing. That's the fucking, that's it. It's the end all fucking be all. They can now fucking print out whatever the fuck they want. You want a gun? I'll fucking print it out for you. You want some money? I'll fucking print it out for you. Oh, you want a fucking pizza? They can fucking print that shit out for you now too. I'm not even fucking joking around. They print fucking food. You want a house? I'll just print you out a goddamn fucking house. So what's the fucking point? Why are we even trying? Why are we even putting any fucking effort in? We've already fucking lost. The fucking 3D printing is the final nail into our fucking coffin. And what do we do? What do we do? We Oh, we're upset because guess what? At Arby's, they're replacing the cashiers with machines, right guys? Oh yeah, let's get fucking upset about that. Let's pretend like we don't even notice that every fucking job that exists is going to be fucking taken by a fucking machine. And of course, your fucking instinct's gonna be, hey Steve, you're fucking crazy. You're, you're out of your fucking mind. You're just another fucking conspiracy theorist. But I beg you, I fucking beg you to wake the fuck up and pay attention. Because if you don't, it's fucking over. It probably already is fucking over, but maybe, just fucking maybe. If I get enough knowledge out there to you, you'll fucking learn, you'll fucking know, and we can make a fucking difference. More than likely, this will be the last fucking video I ever make because they're gonna come and they're gonna shut me down like they always do to anyone who's ever out there trying to wake people up and show them the fucking truth. But if I'm lucky enough to stick around here, I'm gonna show you the truth on everything out there. Everything the government doesn't want you to see. Bananas, fucking shampoo. You have no fucking clue how fucking deep the conspiracies go, how fucking deep the claws of the government have really become into our fucking lives. And until then, until they come and their fucking boots come marching down my fucking stairs and they drag my lifeless fucking corpse out of this fucking basement. I'll be Steve Unseen and hopefully you'll be fucking woke. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? My mean yet. My meme, yeah.